Welcome back to the latest edition of Mueller College Plays of the Week. Begin at number 15 with this long point at number two doubles, won by the Mule all-freshman team of Owen Dyer and Matt Miller. The Mules played very competitively in a close 8-6 loss against nationally ranked Haverford. At number 14, beautiful passing by women's lacrosse as Emily Vaughn with the backdoor cut takes the pass from Ava Malia and scores against Drew. At number 13, men's lacrosse freshman Chase Cusco had back-to-back hat tricks against the Sales and RPI. These two goals against RPI off beautiful passes from Daniel Friedel and Tyler Kitchen. At number 12, NCAA Mideast Wrestling Regional, 184-pound sophomore Ryan Fairchild, trailing 7-6 less than 10 seconds to go, scores this takedown. He would go on to finish 7th at 184. At number 11, Sofia Cicchetti goes opposite field to hit this home run against Kane. But it didn't count. The home run came in the second inning. The game was rained out before it became an official game, but it's nice to see the home run from Cicchetti. At number 10, back to wrestling regionals, Andrew Lineski once trailed this match 7-0, now down 7-5 in the third period, takes his opponent down, he goes on to win 9-8 and plays fourth at 141. At number 9, Kaya Mayhi doing it in the field and at bat in the Mules doubleheader against Stockton. Here on this attempted double steal, Mayhi holds the ball, then fires home to Skyla Campisi to get the runner trying to steal home. And she also hit a two-run home run in the doubleheader. And unlike Sofia Cicchetti's home run that we saw at number 11, this home run counted. At number 8, you can shoot overhand or underhand, goals on scoop shots for the lacrosse teams, Ava Malia against Drew, and Tyler Kitchen for the men against RPI. At number 7 at the Wrestling Regionals, senior Joey Lamparelli recorded a takedown and three four-point near falls all in the first two minutes to tie a school record with his seventh technical fall of the season. Lamparelli would finish fourth at 125. At number 6, junior Brendan Lavara cost five turnovers in the men's across 11-9 loss to 8th-ranked RPI, his second game this season with five or more cost turnovers, and he had these three in a span of about four minutes in the first quarter. At number 5, back to the wrestling regionals once again for Frank Diesso who finished fourth at 133. Here with one minute remaining in this match, the double leg takedown, he goes on to win 8-1. At number four, crazy ending to the first softball win of the season. 2-1, bottom of the seventh inning. Scooter Hulson in right field goes back to catch this long drive. And the throw to second doubles up the Stockton runner who is attempting to tag up but left too early. The Mules win 2-1. At number three, how fast can you score goals? Senior Nicole Steiner of the women's lacrosse team, 11 goals in mule wins against Misericordia and Drew. She was named Centennial Conference Player of the Week. Her eight goals against Drew made her only the 10th player in program history to score eight in a game. And of her 11 goals on the week, five were assisted by senior Lily Seifert. At number two, we've seen a home run that counted and a home run that didn't count. Here's one that really counted. Baseball tied with Eastern 3-3 top of the seventh, and at freshman Mark Quarry in just the ninth plate appearance of his career, belting this three-run homer, the Mules would go on to defeat Eastern 6-5 for their first win of the season. And at number one, second straight week, a week after winning the Centennial Conference gold medal, Aver McNulty wins the All-Atlantic Regional gold medal in the high jump. She cleared five three and a quarter on her final attempt to stay alive in the competition, and then was the only competitor to clear five five. She becomes the second regional champion for the Mules in the last three years, and she has our number one play of the week. Plays of the week will be off next week for spring break. We'll be back in two weeks with more great plays. Thanks for watching, and go Mules!